Most gracious Father and Creator, we have gathered here to celebrate Elizabeth Buffum Chase. Her heart and passion for mankind throughout the years, through her arrows, demonstrated as a leader and voice of reason while navigating during difficult times to create a better world. We come today, remember, with grateful hearts, her commitment to making a difference in our communities, cities, and the state that still reverberates across the country as a nationally recognized reformer. We thank the Central Falls officials and state officials for renaming the Central Falls State Office, Post Office, to Elizabeth Buffin Chase. It literally, literally takes an act of Congress to start the process and then requires approval from the Senate, the House Rep of Representatives, and finally concurrence from the President of the United States to sign this bill into law. As you can imagine, securing the SONA requires that many elected officials across both branches of the federal government have to be in agreement and that the person being honored is worthy of this distinction. The movement, as well as through her work toward prison and school reforms, Elizabeth established herself as the conscience of Rhode Island during the 19th century. For this reason, it was only fitting that a local government building be named in her honor. The Postal Service is proud to recognize her today with the renaming of the Central Falls Post Office to the Elizabeth Buffum Chase Post Office. With this new distinction, as people gather daily to send their letters, cards, and packages for years to come, this office will serve as a constant reminder of her legacy of serving service to the community, this state, and to humanity. I thank you all for being here today, and thank you for allowing the Postal Service to be part of Elizabeth's legacy for many years to come. On the occasion of the dedication of the United States Post Office at 575 Dexter Street, Central Falls, Rhode Island, in honor of Elizabeth Buffum Chase. Today, we acknowledge and honor the bravery and heroic actions of a committed activist and a humanitarian who fought for greater equality as a leader in the abolitionist and suffragette movements. In honor of this dedication and exemplary military service, I am pleased to issue this certificate of special recognition to you on behalf of the state of Rhode Island, and thank you for accepting this on behalf of your family and the great tradition that we provided. Thank you so much.